Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x to the power of 8 minus x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 2 this is equal to 9. So what is the value of x? Now let's prevent a solution from here. So in the numerator we have x to the power of 8 subtract x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 2 this is equal to 9. We can express in the numerator here x to the power of 8 minus x to the power of 2. x to the power of 2 is common here so we can factor out x to the power of 2 so that in the parentheses we have x to the power of 6 minus 1 divided by Again, in the denominator here, x to the power of 2 is common here. So still, we can factor out x to the power of 2. So that now, here we have x to the power of 2 minus 1. This is equal to 9. So we can simplify x to the power of 2. So that now, we have x to the power of 6 minus 1. This is in the numerator, divided by x to the power of 2 minus 1, this is equal to 9. 9 is our number, so this is over 1. So the next step is to cross multiply here, so that we have x to the power of 6 minus 1, then multiplying by 1, this is equal to 9, multiplied by x to the power of 2 minus 1. So here we have x to the power of 6 minus 1 times 1, this is equal to 9 into the parenthesis x to the power of 2 minus 1. We can express x to the power of 6. This is the same thing as x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3. Then subtract 1. We can express this 1 as 1 to the power of 3. This is equal to 9 into the parenthesis x squared minus 1. Now, this is actually the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b, then a squared plus ab plus b squared. From this equation here, we have that a is equal to x to the power of 2, and we have that b is equal to 1. So here we have x to the power of 2 minus 1. Then we have x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. Then plus x to the power of 2 times 1, which is x to the power of 2. Then plus 1 squared, which is 1. And this is equal to, now we have 9 multiplied by x to the power of 2 minus 1. So if here we have x squared minus 1 and here x squared minus 1. So we can simplify this so that now we have x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 then plus x to the power of 2 plus 1. This is equal to 9. So we can let x to the power of 2 be equal to u. So that now we have u squared plus u plus 1. Let's take 9 on the left hand side. So this becomes minus 9. This is equal to 0. So we have u squared plus u. Then subtract plus 1 minus 9. This is minus 8. This is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c this is equal to zero from this equation here we have that a is equal to one b is equal to one and that c is equal to minus eight so we can solve for u1 comma u2 which is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here divided by 2 times a. So let's substitute the values of a, 
B and C so that we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of now we have 1 squared minus 4 times A which is 1 times C which is minus 8 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so this implies here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times minus 8 this is plus 32 then divided by 2 so here we have minus 1 plus or minus now we have the square root of 1 plus 32 this is equal to 33 divided by 2 so therefore here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of that 3 over 2 and this implies that u1 comma u2 this is now we have that u1 comma u2 this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of that 3 this is the same thing as 5.7446 everything here divided by 2 so this implies that u1 this is equal to minus 1 plus 5.7446 divided by 2. And this is actually equal to 2.3723. And we have that u2, this is equal to minus 1 minus 5.7446 divided by 2. And this one is equal to minus 3.3723. 3. Now, if you recall, if you recall from here, we are saying that let u be equal to x to the power of 2. We are saying that let x to the power of 2 be equal to u. Substituting this, then we have x to the power of 2. This is equal to now 2.3723. And again, we have x to the power of 2. This is equal to minus 3.3723. Now, x to the power of 2, this will give us a positive value. And we find that this is from the left hand side we have a positive value and then the right hand side we have also a positive value so this means that we can proceed to solve for x from here but on the second part here we have x to the power of 2 remember this is positive but this is negative so we cannot proceed with this part so this part is rejected so now we have x to the power of 2 this is equal to 2.3 7, 2, 3. To solve for x from here, we introduce a square root sign on both sides. And this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2.3723. Now from here, we can eliminate the square root sign so that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2.3723 and this is equal to 1.5402 so here we have two possible values of x that is x1 is equal to 1.5402 and we have that x2 is equal to minus 1.5402 now let's check x1 here. We can we can be able to verify. Now, if you recall, we have that x to the power of eight minus x to the power of two divided by x to the power of four minus x to the power of two. This is supposed to give us a value of nine. So let's substitute x1 here so that we have 1.5402 raised to the power of 8. Then subtract 1.5402 raised to the power of 2. 
divided by 1.5402 raised to the power of 4. Subtract 1.5402 raised to the power of 2. This should give us a value of 9. So the next step is that 1.5402 raised to the power of 8. This is the same thing as 31.6677. Subtract 1.5402 raised to the power of 2. And this is equal to 2.3722 divided by 1.5402 raised to the power of 4. This is the same thing as 5.6274. Subtract 2.3722. This should give us a value of 9. Now, we have 31.6677 minus 2.3722. This is actually equal to 29.2955 divided by, we have 3.2552. And this should give us a value of 8.99. So if we round off here, we have that 9 is equal to 9. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that x1 here which is 1.5402 satisfies the equation now x2 from here which is minus 5402 this also satisfies the equation so kind of for the steps like this video and subscribe kindly like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now